guys. Today we're going to be doing a little science experiment and it's going to be really fun. Um, I'm sure you guys have probably um, done this before or seen this before. It's been really popular um, and you probably already guessed it. We're going to be making slime today. So I'm going to show you guys the ingredients we're going to be using. Um, you guys can probably do this at home because it's a lot of common ingredients you'll find around the house. Um, but make sure you have a parent or guardian with you to help you just so you don't make a mess. Um, and it'll probably make the cleanup process a little easier too, okay? So let's get started. So the things you'll see on my table is some Elmer's glue, the white one, um, some contact solution, but you can use borax mixed with water as your activator. But I had contact solution lying around my house, so I'm gonna use this as my activator today. Um, I'm using a plastic knife, so I don't have to use my hands to mix. Um, a little bit of baking soda, and some food coloring if you guys wanna dye your um, slime. And I also have a Ziploc bag so you can um, store your slime. Okay, so here in my bowl, I'm going to first start off by adding my Elmer's glue. Open this up so we can squeeze all of the glue out into this bowl. And now we're gonna add our food coloring. So right here I have yellow, red, um, blue, and green. I think I'm gonna go with red today to make pink with the white. And then take your spoon, fork, and then just stir it. Mix, mix the food coloring in with the glue to make the color you desire. I wanted pink, and now it has become a pink. And then when we have our food coloring mixed in well, we're going to add that little bit, little much of baking soda, we don't need that much. And we're gonna add that into our bowl, just like that. And I want you guys to mix this until you can't see any more baking soda, until it's all mixed together, okay? Now here comes the fun part. So I have contact solution, my activator, like I told you guys earlier. Um, you can also use borax, um, mix with a little bit of water. So when you add in your contact solution, this is what's going to activate your slime. Right now, it's still pretty much gluey, right? This doesn't look like, like something you can play with, right? Um, so once you add in your activator, it will turn into the, into the slime you see on TV, you see people playing with because you don't want to just stick your hand in blue, right? Okay, so let's add, add a little bit at a time. I'm gonna start off with a little bit. Um, you can add more as you go, depending on how um, sticky you want it. So if you just add a little bit, you'll see that your slime is starting to activate but it's still sticky and sticking to your hands and it's not, it's gonna be harder to come off. So the more um, solution you put in, the um, easier it'll be to get it off of your hands. But you don't wanna put too much or else your slime's gonna turn hard. Okay, so let's start. So I'm gonna start off with a couple of, oh, about half a teaspoon, just like that. And then I'm gonna mix that in. And watch as, magic happens. You see how it's getting a little thicker? And that's how you know you're doing the right thing when it's getting thicker like this. From what I see, it looks like it's going to be really sticky. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little more of my contact solution. So you want to mix until it slowly starts to come off of your bowl. So you see how it's sticking to my utensil more than it is sticking to the bowl? That's when you know your, your slime is ready. And if it's not doing this, then you just add a little more of your activator until it becomes like this. So this is what makes it an easy cleanup. You see how it's cleaning up the bowl and sticking to everything? And now look at this magic. And 
don't throw away your slime. You can save it and you can do so by putting it in a Ziploc bag, which I will do now. So since I'm done with my slime, my Ziploc is pretty big because I don't have anything else in my house. So I'm just gonna use this big one. I'm just gonna put my slime in here and store it. And I will come back to this whenever I'm ready to play with it again. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed making slime with me. I hope everything with school is going well. And this is, I hope this has been a little fun break, a fun experiment. Um, until next time. Bye guys.